Yeah, that's funny because, you know, we, we look at culture and most companies have a vision or a mission and most of the times those are just platitudes that are plastered on the wall, right? We find out that... Um, it's kind of like a, a alma mater song, right? You ask like <laughs> 90% of your graduates, you know, like, what's your song? The alma yeah. mater song, nobody knows it. I know, but they can you, read it, right? right they can if, read if, it. They can read it, but exactly. they can't Same memorize Same thing with the mission. I find that all the time. So, yeah, it's, it, how do we take the mission or the vision, we call it a cause, and actually put it into the DNA of the organization. Now, a lot of companies talk about culture, what's our culture, and, and I started looking at this several years ago, and I was like, what, what really is culture? And culture is really a collection of habits and behaviors. So if we're gonna define our culture intentionally, we should probably start with defining our habits and our behaviors that roll up to our intention and then our ultimate cause of an organization. And it's really a different take on culture because once we have this, this culture established at the habitual level, because 50% of what we do is a habit, same thing with an organization, right? When we put people together, we want to define those habits. And then once we've done that, we can then develop, you know, what's the plan to get there and then how do we engage people? And um, I think that's what we, we need to be looking at culture as something that's not just uh, a conversation. It's really something we're really peeling away and getting down to the habitual level of the organization and the people that make up that company.